What's up guys, my name is Nathaniel, and today I'm going to tell you about what type of gear I use for YouTube. Let's get this mentality out of the way. Gear does not matter. No matter how expensive your camera gear is, it all depends on your content. You can make videos on your phone. You don't really have to have a big DSLR to make videos. All you have to do is worry about what you're showing to your audience. The gear I use to show my audience is more budget oriented and the things that work for me. Things that I can afford and obtain easily. Let me tell you what gear I use. The camera I'm using now is the Canon EOS Rebel T5i. This is a pretty much a budget oriented camera. The camera model is about a year old. But that doesn't really matter in the Rebel series because they don't change much in between models. However, I bought this camera with a kit and also with a bag. Um, I got two lenses with this kit. I got an 18 to 55 millimeter, which is recording right now. And I also got this really, really big zoom lens. And what a zoom lens is, you can have different millimeters or different focal lengths. If you want to go really close or kind of wide, but this is more narrow. This lens, however, can go to 18 millimeters, and that's kind of a wide type of look. But you can go shorter in millimeter to get probably a more wider angle. I use this 18 to 55 millimeter lens for stuff like this. But however, this thing is kind of hard to get to work in my room because you have to have like double the distance if you're using this because this is for a 55 millimeter and I'm probably using this at a 24 millimeter so I could go back farther but I like the framing of this shot but this is great for depth of field and what depth of field is is when you zoom in and focus what's in view is blurred and what's not in view is in focus so these this is great for very blurry backgrounds what you're doing to the background when you zoom in you're actually making it come forward or come toward the subject and what that does it makes the background very blurry too that's what probably divides amateur from professional photography a lot of amateur photographers i know some people get a just a normal 50 50 millimeter prime lens and they can't they, they probably will take really good pictures with it but they will not compete with something like this when I can zoom in into the subject more and cut out what other whatever I want, they have to get super close, and they won't have a good like as good as a blurry background as I can make with this type of lens. I mean, th this lens right here I'm working with is great for sit down and talk and very wide shots if you're wanting to get really close. But this is when you want to get a little farther away and get a good background blur. The next piece of kit I use is my phone. Actually, I use an iPhone 6 and I use this for basically Instagram and stuff when I up when I take some pictures I put it into my computer and I edit them a little bit put it in Photoshop maybe get them all give it a little bit of touch up then I send it to my phone this phone can take probably good 1080p pictures I rather use this camera because you get a little more cleaner image and this is a great sc this screen is pretty great when you're viewing images so yeah I use this thing for Instagram and all social media stuff for YouTube and if you don't have a, a smartphone I would recommend you getting one if you want to do this YouTube thing because I have YouTube studio on there which I can see all my analytics and all my stuff you guys see and what you guys comment I can comment back on it and it's just easy way to do stuff on YouTube is having a smartphone and you always have it with you because I don't I'm not taking this thing around me <laughs> with me all the time but it is uh, it is a laptop but still I don't bring it I don't bring it everywhere with me the next piece of kit I take camera I have is a GoPro. What I use GoPro for is basically stuff that I can't use this big hawking camera for. It's small, it's tiny, and it's very inconspicuous with this black case. The thing is with having a lot of photos and a lot of video is it takes up a lot of storage on a device like a phone or a computer. So I recommend you getting an external hard drive so you can take it basically anywhere and you can lock it. I have a password on this, no one knows the password. And I could put all my videos and stuff on there or all my B-roll that I want to save and all my photos. It's on there and I don't have to put it on my computer and having it take a valid SD space so I can have better performance. And do note that I'm, I'm almost, I'm 300 gigs of free left. So I'm putting a lot of stuff into this thing. 
Okay, the next thing is, is how do I keep my camera stationary? And there's a, different ways you can do that. I use a tripod, it's a normal tripod. It's a, if you wanna know the model number, it's a Sunpack Ultra 7000 TM. It's, and it's a good tripod. It's pretty cheap, you can get around $30. But I also carry around with me if I'm not having this big honking thing. I carry around this like cheap Gorilla Pod. This is 20 bucks at most. You can get bigger ones. And I know Casey Neistat has these big aluminum metal ones that cost like 100 bucks. But these things are great if you want to mount your camera anywhere, wrap it around stuff, you bend it anywhere, you can hold it out. So this thing is great when you cannot have a big tripod everywhere. Use this thing. The second to last thing I have is how do I do audio? Well, right now I have a shotgun microphone on my camera right now recording audio. Having an external microphone is better than using the end mic on this Canon T5i. It's okay, but when you can have an external microphone doing all the work, it is way better than any internal microphone. So that's what I'm using for my audio. The last thing I have is when you're carrying your camera around, always I always carry a backpack with me, or if I'm carrying all my like lenses and stuff, I usually carry a bag. This will come, this usually comes with a kit. Um, if you buy the kit with two lenses, that usually comes with it. Or I carry around my, my backpack. It's a, if you want to know the model number, it's a Contour Venture Pack. It's very rugged, it has a lot of pockets and stuff. And it fits my camera, it fits my couple of my lenses, and it fits my laptop if I wanted to bring that. And some a small tripod. <laughs> but I got a lot of weird looks when I was carrying around this thing in the airport. Who do you think that would be? But that's the gear I use for YouTube, guys. It's very budgety. It works when I need it. But if you guys don't have that means to do it, if you have a smartphone or, say, a small GoPro, use that. Anything with a, a camera and it can shoot full HD video, use that. Thank you guys for watching the end of this video. Please be sure to leave a like, a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one.